Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna kick off the new year with some of my favorite style tips for the winter and how you can elevate your winter looks so that you don't have to feel blah all winter long. I'm sharing some realistic looks that I've been wearing myself just so that you know you can incorporate these into your winter looks. And I also wanna say a quick thank you to Grana for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the first style tip. Something I think we're all too guilty of is wearing too much black in the winter time. I'm definitely guilty of this myself. The problem though is when you have too many fabrics that are similar and then your outfit feels heavy and flat and there's not enough variety. So I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate some winter whites into your look very easily. I'm gonna start with a base layer of a black crop t-shirt. This one is from Grana, and I like that it pairs really nicely with a pair of high-waisted trousers. That just means that there's no extra bulk around my waist. It keeps the look very seamless and clean. And then I'm gonna accessorize it with a black belt. And because I want this to be a dressed up outfit, I'm gonna take a taffeta shirt. This one is from Kika Vargas, and I'm going to just pop it on over top of the t-shirt. And since it's winter, I'm gonna incorporate a tall pair of leather boots. These ones are by Maison Margiela. I'm also going to accessorize with a wool coat and a wool beanie. The look is a little indie sleaze, a term that I recently just heard that basically encompasses free spirit and not caring, or indie hipster and grunge all kind of rolled into one. Generally, I don't like terms like this because I don't like being boxed into a category because it seems so limiting with personal style, but I've had a lot of questions recently on how I describe my personal style, and this seems to fit my weird minimalistic slash eclectic kind of aesthetic, so I hope that makes sense to you. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I actually wore this outfit out on my birthday last month and honestly, I absolutely loved it. As you can see, there was hardly any snow on the ground, so wearing white pants while it's slushy out might not be the best idea. It's better to reserve this look for drier days so that you don't ruin your gorgeous clothes or your shoes. But this is a great way of breaking outside of that mold of wearing all black and trying to breathe some life into your outfit by including contrasting fabrics like the leather, the cotton in the pants, the wool in the coat, and then the taffeta in the blouse, um, having accessories as well like the belt just to break up and define the waist also helps out. So keep accessories and your color palette in mind whenever you are styling for winter looks. For our next look to style winter whites, I'm gonna start with a base of a white t-shirt and a pair of white jeans. Now, these ones are a little bit special because they are those Margiela white painted jeans and they have that really cool crackled effect. And I'll show you a close up of that a little later on in this segment. So I wanna start off with that white on white base and then I'm gonna incorporate some neutrals in here by adding this deep V-neck sweater. This one is from Grana. And I really like how the cashmere adds this very cozy vibe to the outfit. Now, because the whites that I'm wearing are basically cotton, that kind of read as more summer fabrics. What I'm trying to do is winterize these fabrics by incorporating wools and leather and even cashmere. The key is to incorporate some cozy winter textiles into the mix so that it feels appropriate to the season. I recently wore these white Margiela jeans with this cozy v-neck shirt over the weekend and I absolutely loved it. I felt like the whole look was grounded. It was a little androgynous. My only mistake though was not checking the weather and not layering my heat tech underneath. It was really windy that day and had I known that it was gonna be that cold then I definitely would have put on a longer sleeve shirt, something heat tech, maybe a heat tech base layer underneath my jeans and that would have just retained all of my body warmth. So this is something that I like to do when it's really cold and I wanna wear something that's more of a fashion outfit as opposed to just rocking a parka. Um, I'll just throw on some heat tech or merino wool underneath my outfits and that just kind of ensures that I can wear whatever I want in the winter time without having to compromise my style and I can still be warm. 
So again, just to recap, when you're wearing your white pants this winter, consider the weather and the fabrics of what you're wearing. Layering with cashmere and wool will keep you warm. Even using Uniqlo Heat Tech as a base layer before you get dressed so that you don't have to compromise style and warmth over the next few months. And make sure that it's not slushy out, otherwise those pants and those shoes are gonna get messy. So just be mindful of whatever the snow or the rain are doing on that particular day and you should be good. Our next style dilemma is too many heavy fabrics. Now, you probably already have a lot of cozy knits in your wardrobe. When it's cold out, I know, I don't wanna get dressed. I'm sure you don't either. You just wanna layer on as many cozy fabrics as possible and you wanna stay warm. Now, if you do wanna get dressed or if you have somewhere to be and you wanna look presentable and not like a ball of wool, I'm gonna help you out. Now, I'm gonna start off with a base layer here of a pair of black pleated pants and a white t-shirt. Then I'm gonna accessorize and define my waist using this black belt. I like that this one has a double buckle, so it looks a lot more interesting. It adds this like cool kind of chill vibe and it's very chic as well. This one is from the French brand La Mer and I picked it up over the holidays um, on sale on Essence. And I also like that smooth leather. I just think it adds a little bit of something and it definitely helps break up the wool on wool. So this is a great addition to an all wool outfit. I love how this looks and I think it's very on the nose with the 90s revival slash minimalistic trend that we're continuing to see in 2023 and it's also very chic and timeless. A lot of this outfit is actually um, inspired by my love and appreciation for Martin Margiela and everything that he did for fashion. So over the winter, I'm going to show you some inspo, but I was basically reading some Margiela books and and when I saw this sweater from Grana, I just knew how I was gonna style it. I just could feel the excitement over this and I love how it flows with my outfit. I am gonna link everything down in the description box below if you do wanna check out any of these pieces. Moving forward, I definitely want to share more inspiration photos and source photos with you just so you can see kind of my thought process behind how I style things and how I kind of come to the conclusion of what my outfits are because again, I get so many questions about what is my personal style, how do I define it, and um, it's kind of a mix up of everything to be honest. Everything that I love is just kind of rolled into one outfit or into one aesthetic and my aesthetic does change often. It changes according to mood, it changes according to season and um, at the end of the day I just want to make sure that everything in my wardrobe works with each other and that a lot of pieces do feel seasonalist so that I can wear them all year round without having to limit myself. Now, something that I did pick up from Grana is this long sweater. This one is a cardigan. It is in that beautiful cashmere. It's kind of that charcoal color and it goes really beautifully with a black trouser as well. If you feel like wearing a camisole in the winter is maybe too revealing or you get cold easily, then you can just pop on a bodysuit underneath. This one is a skin colored bodysuit and I just like that it is that nod to Martin Margiela back in the 80s, 90s when he first founded the house. And then if I was going out, I would just put on a wool coat over top. This is a great way of wearing dark colors, of wearing wools, and just playing around with cozy elements as well. Like that cashmere cardigan, it's something that I know will keep me warm all throughout the winter. And if I just wear a Uniqlo Heat Tech pant legging underneath, then I can definitely get by in the wintertime without having to compromise on style. And again, this is just some source material slash inspiration photos from Margiela, the Hermes years. If you didn't know, he did design for Hermes for a few years and the styles that he pumped out were incredible. So if you have a chance to go back and maybe even look on Pinterest, have a look at those amazing inspiration that still feels very relevant today. I was actually at cost with my best friend recently and she picked up the most gorgeous, stunning sweater. And I said to her, this is so reminiscent of what Martin Margiela designed for Hermes. 
there's some really amazing inspiration, real life inspiration for you here. And that is why this partnership with Grana has been so seamless to me and so natural because they reached out and they asked if I wanted to partner on a video once again. And when I saw their cashmere collection, I said, absolutely yes. By the way, I did get this book on Amazon. I'm going to make sure that I link it down in the description box for you below in case you do want to check it out and see a little bit more of that history of Margiela while he designed at Hermes. One of the styles that I was very drawn to when I was going through that book was actually those deep v-neck garments that he was making. A lot of them were wool and they were cashmere. He was using, of course, very superior fabrics. And I recently picked up this charcoal one from Grana. I do have a discount code for you. It is NM30 for 30% off site-wide on grana.com. And I did pick up the matching camisole so I can layer it underneath. And I picked up the same version in beige because I'm the kind of person that when I like something, I have to get multiples. That's just how I roll. I love having multiples in my wardrobe. So this is really no surprise. And then another thing I was very excited about getting was their beautiful cashmere cardigan. What I like about their cashmere is that it's not itchy at all. It's very comfortable on the skin. It flows on the body really beautifully and it all layers really nicely too. As you can see throughout this video, I'm layering a lot of these cashmere pieces and everything flows together so well. Now I did pick up this crop black t-shirt in the Supima cotton. While I might not normally wear a crop shirt with a low rise jean like we did back in the 90s, I do like pairing it with a high waisted trouser because it just makes sure that I don't have all that bunching around my waist. Another thing that I picked up is a white Supima cotton shirt. I have been wearing this one so much almost every single day because it is the best layering piece that I could find. And I do get some questions from time to time about what the best white t-shirt is. I would say that this one from Grana, the Supima cotton white t-shirt is definitely up there. I'm gonna link everything down in the description box for you below along with my discount code. And thank you Grana for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the looks. The next style dilemma that we're going to solve is blah weekend casual wear. That just means whenever you're running out on the weekends or running errands, you're wearing your parka, you've got your leggings on, you've thrown on a sweater and a pair of boots and you're warm, but you don't feel your best. So I'm going to help you take a pair of leggings or even a pair of sweatpants and we're going to dress it up and elevate it in a way that feels current and it feels a lot more cool than just rocking a parka for your errands, for your grocery shopping. The base of this outfit is something that we all probably have in our wardrobes and that is a white t-shirt and then a pair of leggings. And then over top, I'm just gonna add a sweater. This is a crew neck sweater and it's cotton, so it's not the warmest, but I did wanna show you an outfit that I recently wore to brunch. The tailored wool coat is almost floor length on me because I am petite. I stand at 5'4", so I really love how a long coat just adds this element of drama and this element of chicness to my look. So this is a very simple look. It's literally just leggings, a pair of lug sole boots, and a sweater, but it's that coat that makes this outfit a lot more special. So when we're looking at outerwear, I always like to invest in a really beautiful wool tailored coat. I know that's something that's gonna take my casual looks to the next level. It's something that's gonna keep me warm. If it's really cold out, maybe I'll take a light puffer like this one from Uniqlo, and then I'll just layer it underneath. And then that way I don't have to compromise my style and I don't have to wear that parka if I don't want to. Again, I have a parka and I just don't really like wearing them that much. So this is a look that I wore recently when we were out in Niagara on the lake. I went to brunch with my parents. We were test driving this Porsche Taycan and I absolutely love this car, love driving it. Thank you, Porsche Canada. But this is a very realistic look of what I wore on a weekend. So I just wanted to show you how you can elevate your leggings if that's something that you're interested in doing. One of the style dilemmas that we can face in the winter time and basically all year round is when we take a monochrome outfit and we don't vary the textures enough and it looks flat. Monochrome dressing is a great way to put an outfit together, especially if you're in a rush and you need to get out the door quickly. 
Now let's breathe a little bit of life into this outfit. As you can see, I've already started accessorizing. I've lightened things up with a lighter color gray shoe instead of using a darker one, just to bring in a little bit of depth. I've defined my waist with a black belt. I've kept the same cashmere v-neck and camisole. And then on top of that, I'm layering in a black wool coat. For my accessory, I'm just topping it off with a navy beanie. It almost reads as a monochrome moment because the color story is all within the same family. The lightest thing on here is the shoe and the trouser, but everything else for the most part is dark and almost reads as black. Now, speaking of black, this is how we can take a black outfit and bring a little bit of depth and life into a winter look. So I'm starting off with a base layer of a black t-shirt and then a black midi skirt. Now, if it's cold out, you can always wear a pair of tights underneath just to keep you warm. Uniqlo Heat Tech makes some really good ones, so make sure you check those out. And I will link some down in the description box below. Uh, for my accessories, I decided to break up all of the wool with a little bit of leather. Breaking things up with leather accessories is my favorite way of breathing a bit of life into my outfits, and it's the easiest way to do it as well. The bag has this beautiful woven texture on it, and that one is from Bottega Veneta, and I got that one during the fall. And then the beanie is just slightly ribbed, so there's enough texture in here between the woven material, we have the ribbing, and then we have that cashmere knit that's kind of like a charcoal. So even though this is a monochrome moment, it does, isn't, it does include a little bit of that subtle heathered charcoal cashmere in it. And the inspiration for this outfit actually comes from something that I put together on my Instagram. If you follow me there, then you would have seen this outfit. And I just, I felt so comfortable in it. It felt kind of like a date night going out outfit, but you know, depending on where you work, it could even be a meeting outfit as well. Not sure if that slit would be uh, work appropriate, but everybody has a different dress code and you would know best. The next style dilemma is styling jeans and a t-shirt and having fun with layers because we can have a beautiful white t-shirt, a gorgeous pair of jeans and a really great shoe, but sometimes the way that we mix it together makes it look really boring. I'm gonna show you how using layers in the winter time can work to our advantage and it can make an outfit look really stellar. So let's start off with that base of a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. These ones are from Maison Margiela and I got them a couple of months ago uh, during a collab with Matches Fashion, I believe. For the vest, I'm gonna be using one from the Frankie Shop. I recently got this one. I already have it in two colors. I really love the way that it flows with my personal style, so that's why I decided to add the black one into my wardrobe as well. For the topper, instead of going with a sweater, I'm gonna be using a blazer here. Like I said before, in the casual outfit, adding a tailored piece to your casual looks is the best and easiest way to dress things up and to make the whole outfit feel a lot more elevated. So here I'm just wearing those ankle boots, a pair of jeans, a white t-shirt, a vest, and then I'm adding that wool jacket over top and this is another tailored piece. So the whole look just, it kind of gives me rock and roll vibes in a way. Uh, definitely something that I would wear out with my husband if I'm going out, but I actually wore this when I was getting my second lobe pierced. So I just happened to go with my best friend and this is the outfit that I was wearing. So again, I just wanted to show you some realistic outfit ideas, things that I've been wearing in the last couple of weeks and how we can take our wardrobe and winterize it. I really hope that this video helped you and I hope that these style tips made sense. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the description box below. I'm happy to answer them. If you have any recommendations for yourself, maybe any style tips that we should consider please feel free to share them in the description box below. I would love to read them. Thank you, Grana, for sponsoring this video. Again, the code for 30% off their website is NM30, and that'll be, everything will be in the description box below, including links to the outfits. If anything is sold out, I will try to find similar pieces for you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. I hope everybody is having a great start to their new year so far, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.